right, everybody, welcome back. We are joined by a very special guest, new head coach of the new program in the SEC, Vanderbilt Volleyball is back. We're joined by head coach Anders Nelson. First of all, how's that here? What's that sound like to hear head coach? Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, Darren, because I've wanted to be a head coach since I was basically in middle school. After, let's see my sister go through the recruiting process. So pretty cool uh, to actually have that title now. And uh, like my mom texted me when I first told her I got the job, dreams come true. So it's been awesome. Yeah, well, and, and it seems like just a great situation being in Nashville and the SEC, you know, one of the power conferences for sure, and, and your background. And uh, I'm sure it's been more than a whirlwind, uh, whirlwind month, but just give us, uh, people out there, a little taste of what your last month, six weeks have been like. Yeah, so I've been on the job for about six weeks now, and uh, one of the things that I presented with them with in the interview process was a first 100 days plan. Um, so I've actually been using that pretty closely um, to kind of uh, decide what's most important to do right away. Um, the best analogy I can give to other college coaches that are maybe in very different situations is it kind of feels like we're at a program, but everyone came in and stole all our stuff, and then they wiped our computers clean. So now we're just trying to build all of that. So we're building a lot of templates for recruiting. We're building um, things for travel. I mean, business office things. I'm meeting with architects uh, for our new facility. Um, it's everything right now. So uh, obviously, we didn't even have any volleyballs uh, to our name as of last week. So we're having to do everything from scratch right now. But it's been a ton of fun. Um, and every day is different. And every day is challenging. So I'm enjoying it a lot. So when a Dumbo like me says, why are they waiting? A little bit to start playing maybe that's why because there's some other stuff to do before you hit the court yes 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 there's a lot to do um, if I if I wanted to just keep working right now I could stay at work for the whole time um, and never go home so I got to kind of draw the line because there's so much to do but yeah we're gonna start competing in 2025 and the lead-up time was really important to me um, when I was interviewing for the job to make sure we had enough time to do it properly and make sure we have a roster in place that can compete in the SEC right away so we talk you know about the recruiting um and everybody talks about how big this weekend is um the talent it's here you know get a little bit redundant but that's because it's true yeah. how is this weekend maybe different for you than other coaches that in established programs yeah the first difference is probably that i didn't have to leave any players to come here and our staff didn't have to leave any players back in vanderbilt to come here so we're not you know, thinking about getting back for practice on Monday or Tuesday, that's not something we have to worry about right now. We're just kind of in total recruit mode. So that would be the first thing. Uh, the second big difference is that we have one commit right now, and she's a 2024. So we're looking at a lot of 24s. We need to find like four or five more. Um, and then we're going to add about six in the 25 class. Wow. So we just have a lot larger uh, or a lot more spots to fill in the next two classes than probably most programs here. Uh, so we were here from about seven o'clock till about nine o'clock yesterday a, a full 14 hour day but wouldn't have it any other way when you're starting from scratch well you know you got to get a lot of positive feedback the community well those guys but well known you've been in the you know that assistant role forever you know talk about your relationship in kentucky and what you'll take from the success you but also you as a group had there as you head to the new job yeah, I think I would be a lot less confident and feeling prepared for this job if I hadn't coached in the SEC for the last 12 years or whatever it is. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of what it takes to be successful in our conference and what kind of athletes you need to be successful. Um, I've also recruited the area that Nashville and Lexington are in really hard for the last decade. So I know the area really well, and those are all things that have kind of helped. Uh, but Craig Skinner, obviously I worked for him for 10 to 12 years, and um, he's not only my mentor, but one of my best friends. Yep. And there's a ton of things that I've obviously learned from him and maybe unintentionally on a lot and intentionally on some things, but Craig is one of the best managers of people that I've ever been around. So the fact that I'm managing a staff for the first time, I feel more prepared because I got to watch Craig do it for uh, my whole tenure there. So give me a snippet. Will you guys start doing, will you start having Vanderbilt camps this summer, that going full? That'll start right away, even though you guys aren't taking the court next year. Yeah, we're going to do camps this summer. They'll probably be a little limited because of space. First of all, our facility is not ready yet. Um, and then also, we just don't have a large staff. We only have three of us right now. So they'll be a little more limited, but we definitely want to have some elite prospect camps to get some of these kids that are in this gym um, over to Vanderbilt's campus. And then, yeah, we'll uh, have a full set of camps next summer. Um, it's honestly for obviously recruiting, but also to generate a lot of interest in the national area about Vanderbilt volleyball. And the city's really hungry for some volleyball and for SEC volleyball. So it's been great to just hear that reaction so far. Yeah, and that was what I was going to ask you. How has the feedback been there 
Um, you know, is it something they just added because they had to, or is it something they added? They're excited. What's your feedback been from the community uh, and the attitude in general? So first, I need to give a shout out to Salima Rockwell, who just walked by, uh, the head coach at Notre Dame, who's been a huge resource for me, uh, moving to a really high academic institution. Recruiting is just a little bit different, so I want to shout her out. But yeah, the feedback in Nashville has been pretty crazy. And uh, if you follow Vanderbilt on social media, you'll know that they've shoved me down your throat yeah. and you can't avoid me for the last month here. So the feedback's been awesome. I'm um, getting recognized around campus is pretty crazy. Um, but people are just really excited about volleyball and it's such a unique situation and something our sport hasn't seen at the Power Five level in decades of starting a program from scratch. So there's definitely a lot of excitement and we plan to capitalize on that and make sure that when 2025 rolls around, we're ready to go in terms of having a really strong fan base as well. So when people ask what the mark you want to leave on your program when people watch Vanderbilt Volleyball, they'll walk away knowing what? The first thing we're looking for in recruits right now is because the situation is so different and we don't have a jersey we can show them, we don't have any history that we can show them, we don't have a facility we can show them. So the first thing we're looking for is kids who want a challenge. And it's going to be really hard. It's to play in the SEC is very hard. Uh, to go to school at Vanderbilt is very hard. To live in a city like Nashville where you can get distracted pretty easily can be kind of hard. So we're looking for athletes that definitely want it hard. So I think that'll translate into how we play. We'll play gritty. Um, we'll play with a lot of intensity and passion. And I want to play like we played at Kentucky, which is play really clean, really fundamentally sound, um, and really make sure that we look like um, a team that's technically trained and trained well. And that's going to be something that's really important to us. Awesome. Well, bud, I'm going to let you go and get back to work, ladies and gentlemen. The new head volleyball coach of Vanderbilt and a man who has been so good to me through our journey. We wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for this guy helping us out year after year when he didn't have to. So we wish him the best. Um, class act all the way. So recruits, if you're listening, when it comes time, you can't go wrong with this guy. So thank you, buddy, and good luck. No, thanks, Tip, and thanks for all you're doing for the sport and the growth of adrenaline in the last year has been pretty crazy and excited to see where it goes. So thank you for everything, too. Awesome, buddy. Anders Nelson, we'll be right back. Thanks, buddy.